was uh, uh, designed and built by Planvir. Uh, it actually uses cork on the outside, that there's a layer of cork and then there's red earth in between the two layers. So it's not exactly the same solution, but it's uh, very similar. And well, LSP on the other hand, which is the system there, it's uh, the fourth feature. Um, it's, uh, it's a kit of parts, it's assembled on site, it can be adjusted to, to the particular case, but it has some limitations and it cannot withstand structural loads, it's not supposed to extend to extend those types of loads, and which is a common problem with uh, old buildings, like you can see here, this wall, in particular, if you look at the doors there, here, you see that uh, there's a deflection on this slab. And this, this uh, deflection didn't cause a uh, structural failure on the, on the wall. Instead, it, it would stand uh, the, this, this deflection. And this happens because, because this uh, traditional walls, they, they have some uh, structural uh, capacity. They, they are not uh, just partitions. And um, one of the other limitations of the LSD is the thickness. You can only do thicknesses that are uh, uh, attainable to the combination of the different elements of the system. And the use of galvanized steel is also a, a factor but, uh, because it has a high level of carbon, embedded carbon and embedded energy, which is steel is the most costly uh, material to produce. So why cork? Well, uh, cork is, uh, is the, the tree bark that's extracted from 9 to 12 years of the tree that's at least 30 years old and it produces, it has an average life of 200 years more or less and uh, this cork, uh, the cork is it's used for many other things like most commonly for cork and for cork stoppers of course but uh, one of the sub products of this is uh, it granulates and aggregates like ICB which is uh, the short for the uh, insulation cork port. The insulation cork port is is the, it's, it's an industrial process that doesn't use other energy than the cork itself because the, um, the, the, the uh, leftovers from the granulation of cork are used to produce the energy that is used to, to make the blocks. So in itself, the process, the process is not, it's a closed cycle, almost closed cycle. And uh, the, when you process the cork, if you have you can look at the lower examples. There are some uh, examples of uh, uh, you have this uh, extraction of cork by CNC processes. This leftover cork can also be reused in the in the process of uh, either for uh, putting inside walls or or for burning to take energy. So there's a lot of efficiency embedded in the material itself. Uh, digital tools are also becoming a, a, a common part of the design process. And we argue that the evolution and proliferation of parametric and already design software, it's uh, making way to the, to the, uh, the offices. And uh, on the other hand, for programming as a tool and skill is generally being democratized. So lots, of, a lot of other people start, uh, starting to have access to these types of, of tools. Uh, so in the case of, uh, we, I studied several cases of uh, building intervention, building, building renovation, and as you can see on the that one, that's one of the cases, and as you can see in red is the what's being built inside the, the, the building and in yellow you can see what's being taken, taken over and in fact this uh, types of intervention is very common because uh, these buildings are uh, they didn't originally have bathrooms inside so there's a very important part of the intervention which is to adapt these uh, buildings to contemporary living part bathrooms so, uh, and the um, the analysis of the renovation cases, uh, traditional partition wall systems, has been taken into uh, account, and uh, we uh, gather some some uh, objectives we thought were, were important to, to for the partition to have. So uh, those are the objectives: there, wall thickness that is adjustable, the adequate airborne sound insulation, the dampening of impacts on transmission, 
flexibility in finish, quick, quick and easy assembly, lightness, dry construction, in all caps for infrastructure, with reusable and renewable materials and low cost. Uh, there is a this is a boring table that shows uh, exactly why the core kits and, and in this case also wood is our better materials for partition in terms of uh, energy efficiency. Uh, what we have here is a, a values obtained from the inventory of carbon and energy that was produced by a university and. These values have been uh, calculated for area, which is this EEU value, and uh, for the surface and for the thickness of the structure. You can see that the ICB is at least half of the energy input of the, of the mineral wool, and uh, it's almost four times less uh, uh, of carbon, embedded carbon. Uh, in fact, these values are worse for Europe, so in the case of Portugal, it's, it's even uh, better for cork because it's produced here and uh, the transportation of, uh, of cork between places is not an issue. And uh, even in the case of wood, you can see, for instance, that uh, in the last uh, column, you can see that uh, the government still is uh, very bad in terms of energy input to the uh, so, uh, so what's, what was the, the concept of this project was to Carbusier and uh, the client uh, are the principal interveners. So the core we wall is a construction system and a parametric, parametric model. The uh, construction system is the system in itself. The parametric model is uh, uh, like um, uh, an interface between the client and the uh, in the construction system. So uh, it requires that uh, the, the client or the architect or both uh, provide wall dimensions and choices of uh, the wall and it returns a bill of materials, production drawings, uh, 3D simulation and assembly instructions. Well, uh, actually the only the two of them are, are functioning right now and uh, assembly instructions and uh, the 3D simulation are still in, in the works, but um, what, what this uh, uh, it makes possible is that this can work as a, a feedback loop. So the client and the architect can uh, design the wall so that it meets their requirements or what they want to achieve, achieve and then it, they can use this information to produce uh, uh, the, the, the solution on a CNC and. Uh, assemble them on, on site according to the instructions of uh, provided. So, so it's a wood frame uh, which is a, a, a cut out of uh, OSP standard panels and it's assembled on site and a wood, pa uh, wood core composite panel uh, of uh, plywood on the face and a cork, 30 millimeter cork on the back. Uh, the structure is itself is composed of several components that uh, have to be assembled in a given order. So always from uh, left to right and from the bottom up. And it's, it, as you can see, there are several components, level studs, the blockings, joinery, and etc. And uh, the, there's some detailing to, to, to allow for the dampening of sounds from by, by this wall, it's used also cork as a, uh, on the bottom of the wall, on the top of the wall, and on the side. It also, it's meant to, uh, to achieve other purposes, such as the, the one I previously mentioned. But when you see this wall, there's when there's a reflection of this, uh, the wooden floor, it compresses the, the wall. So this layer of cork also absorbs a part of this. Uh, of this uh, Weight and uh, this is the structure of the panel. It's a 30 millimeter thick ISP uh, and there's 12 millimeter thick plywood. It can be made up in this type of uh, 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 lats, which is this actually the cheapest and most ecological way of doing it. But it can also be made in any given pattern, uh, 
the architect chooses to, to use. Uh, this is this is one of the, those patterns, and this is the assembly process, also from left to right, from bottom up, and well, the panels overlap each other, and they in this uh, stretcher-like uh, pattern. And the objective is to uh, uh, help to um, stiffen the wall in the in-plane for in-plane strengths. Um, the parametric model it's uh, this is more or less the uh, what it, uh, the instructions that the user can provide or can configure in the, in the program. It doesn't have to be, uh, well, it's, it's a structure that way. The user can go from right to, to uh, from left to right. And you can also change it in any other uh, fashion because it has no, uh, no influence on the parametric model and it always calculates. So what, what, what is required is that the user provides length and width and it decides whether it wants to see just cork or it wants to see a mixture of cork and wood or in limit, it can also, it can also be all in wood. Uh, it can, if it decides to have some uh, mixture of cork and wood, it can then decide if it wants uh, any of those three, uh, three patterns I, I encoded in the, in, the, in the system. It can also be other patterns that for the moment. <coughs> These are the ones that are designed. And then it needs to decide, according to the pattern that he shows, it needs to decide uh, some things about how this design is. So what's the thickness of the lats, for instance, and there's a possibility to add a baseboard to match for, for instance, this building, you can see it has a baseboard here around. So it can, it can design one with the same height if it's less to do so. And there's a ceiling board which is to match also these types of ceilings the boards you see here, but it can also be used to hide the false ceiling uh, so that it doesn't hide the, the, the pattern. And this, there's decisions for the back side and the front side. So, uh, you can have different solutions on both sides. Um, there's, well, this, is up, this is the algorithm, then there's, uh, these are the rule structures. So uh, there's three cases for height. It's limited to 4.6 in height, and there you can see the, the different heights uh, have different uh, configurations, mostly because there are limits to the size of the uh, OEC panels, and uh, in order to achieve a lower cost uh, of the solution, and, uh, it, it, that's so that it would be easier to assemble it had to be divided into three uh, different cases. In the length, it, you can have any uh, any length because it's not limited to any any of the restrictions. Uh, this is the panel rules of how it's designed. It's like I said, is a, a stretcher uh, type uh, uh, pattern. It's one in the bottom. You have a complete. It starts with one meter uh, by fifty centimeters of height, which is the standard size of cork, and the next layer it's, uh, starts in half and, and continues with the same dimension. So these are the patterns you can configure, and uh, there can be any other patterns uh, as long as they can be programmed. The program. uh, so the parametric model has other objectives besides uh, allowing for a configuration. The, the, the objective was to, to simulate the behavior of the system in order to optimize the, how it, the dimensions of the system itself. And uh, I performed some uh, structural simulations. Uh, two forces involved. Uh, one of, that I already spoke, which is the, the weight on the top of the wall uh, that causes uh, deformation. And uh, another one, which is a very important one in, in these types of uh, partition walls is the standard test uh, uh, by, by guideline by European Union that defines that a wall should be tested with uh, the, the energy of a uh, uh, 50 kilogram bag, a, a soft body in essence, being thrown against the wall. And uh, this test was simulated with a force because Karama doesn't simulate exactly energies. So uh, it, was, uh, it was possible to understand how the but what, what would the dimensions of the wall needed to be, and how would the lats, the, the wood, uh, would help to stiffen the, the wall? 
And uh, another uh, type of simulation of the sun, not an exact simulation, but more a calculation, is how does the end solution, the, the final solution, compares with the standard solutions of, of uh, LSD? So you have there three types of, uh, four actually types of LSD partitions for a given height, which is 3.6 meters. And uh, you have on top a corporate wall solution with uh, U values. Uh, the, the, one, the other one is, is for um, uh, uh, the quantum uh, It's the original. Yeah, exactly. It's the original. Uh, not the original. The, the, the certain materials have uh, uh, properties that they absorb heat and they liberate a long time. So that's the value. Uh, and the thermal mass. Thermal mass. Thermal mass, that's it. The thermal mass as a system is not very high, of course, because cork is on the front layer. That's one of the problems. And uh, uh, energy, embedded energy is, as you can see, uh, le sometimes less than half the embedded energy of the equivalent systems. Uh, these were, uh, in case studies I had, I designed some laws to, to, the, to the, some parts of the project to see how it went, if it was possible to achieve what the purpose of the project had. These projects were at the our, our office, so I was designed, I knew the objectives of the client and it was possible to understand if this uh, the solution could achieve the project uh, objectives. So this is one of them, this is another one, and this is uh, the last one. And uh, the, the partition was the, reduced for 